Hello everybody, good evening. Um, just a quick update on my uh, Sudan War uh, collection. I've, uh, I've just completed the York and Lanx Regiment. Uh, 20 millimeter figures from uh, New Line miniatures. Uh, painted up fairly quickly. I used a mixture of uh, Iraqi sand, khaki, and uh, I think it was Japanese uniform to uh, to get the uh, the colours correct. And um, got dark blue uh, bedding uh, wrapped around them in in the style of the York and Lanx 65th Regiment. They weren't actually uh, with the Gordon Relief Expedition, of course, not not the Camel Corps, but um, they took. Part in some uh, important battles around about, uh, I think it was 1884, and um, I, I've, I've um, I'm going to sort of uh, use a bit of poetic license and include a few units, um, you know, in, in addition to the uh, Camel Corps, just for a bit of colour. I mean, a lot of the troops coming from India would have been in khaki. Um, a few of them would have been uh, in home service uniforms of uh, scarlet, which is always good fun, and um, and yet more of them would have got the the new uh, the grey grey serge uh, frock coat, and um, yeah, they painted up quite nice. I've got a bit of sand on the base there, and um, a bit of shrubs um, and a few rocks, so. Uh, you know, I've got a slightly sort of deserty uh, appearance to them. Uh, as I say, uh, new line, uh, quite a nice range. Um, you know, it's quite economic uh, doing them in 20 millimeter rather than 28s. Um, they uh, they painted up quite well. Um, I've got to clean a bit of bit of sand off of him. He's um, he's been rolling around in the sand. But um, yeah, I was uh, I, I was overall very pleased and uh, using some of the tips that you guys uh, put forward uh, on some of the, uh, the I, I can't remember who it was exactly now, but um, I slightly changed my flesh tone a little bit. I did um, a red leather base for the flesh tone and then followed it up with some barbarian flesh dry brushed and then a flesh tone wash and um, in this scale I mean I don't know if you can make it out but if, every one of them's got moustaches I think it was um, somewhat of a fashion in the uh, British Army at the time um, you weren't fully dressed without a moustache and um, they're livened up with a little bit of um, you know different coloured moustaches browns uh, brownish red and uh, one or two blonde but um, overall uh, I was quite pleased by the poses they cleaned up nicely uh, I'm going on now to do the uh, the uh, Highlanders um, you know, I've got a few marching Highlanders I'll probably do uh, the Royal Highland Regiment the 42nd or the Black Watch um, you know I uh, haven't made my mind up yet but I think I'll probably put them in red in red coats and um, I've got some more figures coming from New Line I've, I'm going to do the uh, the Dervish Forces I've got a lot of camels to paint and um, I've also got uh, you know a Lancer unit um, I think the Hazars were uh, out on patrol with the Camel Corps, but I've got some Lancers, I might convert them into just Hazars. And um, I've got a few shirt sleeved British infantry, and um, yeah, I sh I've got uh, about 30 or so uh, Camel Corps dismounted, and a small representative range of uh, mounted Camel Corps, and um, quite a you know, I, I bought quite a lot of uh, dervishes, and um, so I've, I've got enough to keep me going into uh, into next year. But um, 
these are the first uh, first off the production line and as I say you know straightforward um, nothing too fancy uh, a little bit of uh, I think it was burnt umber wash I thinned it down a little bit because I've been prone to overdoing the washes a little bit but um, yeah all, all told I'm, I'm, I'm quietly pleased with those and uh, you know now for the Highlanders and uh, I shall update you in the future with those. Thanks for listening, yeah?